Hey, what is going on, guys? It's True Warrior here, bringing you another Fortnite Battle Royale tips and tricks video. Um, today, I'm going to be talking about um, some building techniques that you can practice in playground mode. This is going to be very beneficial in helping you um, with your build battles, as well as just overall rushing abilities and your building uh, mechanics. So, these are great things to practice. This is not all inclusive. It's not everything that you can practice. However, these are the main ones that I found to be useful and that most players use. Um, so without further ado, we'll jump into it. The first one is going to be the ramp wall. The ramp wall is simply placing a wall or ramp piece first, followed by a wall to add extra protection. The old way of doing this was just simply by to, to rush or to, to try to gain high ground was simply by running up a ramp and building ramps as you moved up. Um, the problem with this is it's easy to be shot down so somebody can shoot down just one plank of your ramp and the rest of it can come tumbling down. So um, the lot, you know, that would result in your, your falling to your demise or whatever. Um, so it just it wasn't the best. It works, but um, it, it's not the best. So the, one of the, the next step up would be to do the ramp wall, which is putting a wall in front of your ramp, so that way the enemy has two things to shoot through before they can shoot you down. Um, and you'll see here in the clip that I, I go through and I run, I place the ramp, then I place the wall, ramp, wall, ramp, wall, back and forth. Um, you can start out at a slower speed to build your mechanics and train your muscle memory, and then from there you can move a little faster. And you see it provides great uh, defense. It provides some extra uh, protection for you so that it, it helps you, uh, you know, not get shot down so quickly. Um, the next one that I want to talk about is the one by one. If you played Fortnite at least for even a day, you've seen this. You've seen a player do this, or you've done it yourself, um, unbeknownst to you. Um, it's the one of the simplest and most foundational uh, structures to build in Fortnite, and that's the one by one, um, which is simply four walls around you and then a ramp. Four walls, then a ramp. Um, it's a quick, easy way to go straight up and protect yourself while still trying to gain some high ground um, or putting yourself into a position to scout out the enemy. So you just place the four walls, and then you jump and you ramp. Four walls, jump, and you ramp. Um, the best way to do this, though, is you want to position yourself at the top of your ramp before you place the next ramp above you. So as you're placing the walls, transition yourself up towards the top of the current ramp that you just built so as you're placing your walls then you're you're at high ground on your ramp to be able to jump and build the next ramp and land on it correctly so that way it builds um, and then as you see in my video here I edit myself down and that is just so that I can practice my edits as well which is huge when it comes to playground mode you, you've got to practice your edits the next one that I want to talk about talk about excuse me is uh, what I call the one by buildup. Um, this is essentially a one by one cut in half. Um, and this is primarily just to gain high ground when you know that there is an enemy on one side of you. Um, so it saves on your materials but still allows you to quickly gain high ground and you gain it much faster than the one by one because you have left, less building involved and less turning involved. So you simply just place a wall to one side, place an adjacent wall on the next side, followed by a ramp. Then wall, wall, ramp. Wall, wall, ramp. And it allows you to get up quickly. Um, you can, you know, cut your time in, you know, almost in half, basically, from the one by one by doing the one by build up. So um, it's, a, it's a good tool to have and it's something great to practice. The next thing I want to talk about is the double ramp. Um, the double ramp is similar to the ramp wall with the exception of it's a lot wider and it doesn't require you to switch between your builds. Um, and it still provides you that double protection so that way you're not being shot down just off of one ramp. Um, this, is, this is helpful. It is good. Um, I don't use this a lot, I'll be honest. It's just not personally what I like to use a lot, but it is still helpful and I do use it every now and then. You see in my video here that uh, in my gameplay that I'm just running and I'm moving left to right, left to right, left to right, staying in the center so that way it's easier for me to swing back and forth and place the next ramps. 
Um, so that's something you can practice. You can start out slow, and then as you become more confident and you train your muscle memory and you've learned the speed, um, then you can you know go to a full sprint and go left to right. The next thing I want to talk about is the double ramp, double wall. Now this is essentially the double ramp mixed in with the ramp wall and put together. Okay, this provides you so much more protection. Um, and you'll see in my video clip here that I, I definitely struggle with this one a little bit. I need to personally practice it a little bit more. I tend to do better while I'm in game, um, you know, in battle. It seems like I, I, for some reason, I don't know, maybe instinct or something just kicks in. And, um, you know, and I tend to do well under the pressure, I guess. But uh, for the sake of this video, I didn't do too great. But in essence, it still gives you the idea. Um, and you, you want to start by placing two ramps followed by two walls. And the best way to do this is to move in a circular fashion, whether it be clockwise or counterclockwise, okay? Just move in a small circular fashion and go ramp, ramp, wall, wall, ramp, ramp, wall, wall, ramp, ramp, wall, wall. And you'll do that by holding. Use the turbo building. If you don't have turbo building on, you need to turn it on in your settings because that is essential to doing a lot of this, okay? So you can just hold your buttons and hold the ramp for two, hold the wall piece for two, hold the ramp for two, hold the wall for two. The next one I wanna talk about is the ramp wall 180. At least that's what I call it. Um, this is essentially building ramp wall, ramp wall, and then once you go up two or three planks, you spin around while still building walls, and then you go back the opposite direction. Um, this is definitely good for whenever you're battling someone and you want to change your direction while still trying to maintain high ground. This is a good quick way for you to flip around and still keep uh, progressing upward and ascending so that way um, you're, you're getting the high ground but you're also still protecting yourself. Uh, so you see here in the video clip, um, I'm just running and this is a great one to practice. You can go as high as you want. You ramp wall, ramp wall, ramp wall, and then turn around, build walls, and then jump up, create the, the next ramp, and then keep moving. Okay. Once you get to the top of this, what I like to do is, instead of just falling down, bounce padding down, what have you, I like to edit my way down. Um, this, is, this is, part of building is editing. Um, and a lot of people forget about this or don't practice it. They so, they're so focused on the building aspect that they forget that editing is a part of building. And editing is going to help save your life so much. Um, it's going to help you escape quickly, and it's just like anything else. It's a matter of training your muscle memory. So you go up, uh, find yourself getting to the top, and then um, you know edit your way down so that way you are able to to move quickly and, and get out quickly. And, you know, if you ever box yourself in, you can quickly edit yourself out. The next one that I want to discuss is um, the ramp wall floor. Um, this is more secure than the ramp wall rush um, and provides you cover, especially if you're running on top of an enemy. So that way, if they're below you, they can't just shoot up from above and take out just the ramp and everything else comes down. No matter what angle they come in at, they have to shoot at least two structures. Um, so th this is definitely a great thing to do. It's a great thing to practice. And the best way to do it is to start out slow by building your, your ramp, then build the floor, then build the wall, then the ramp, then the floor, then the wall. And just slowly do that, you know, kind of go at half speed up and build the muscle memory. Once you do that, you'll be able to go at full speed. And believe me, it's so much easier um, once you've spent some time practicing and got the muscle memory down. I actually find it easier to do going full speed than it is trying to do it at, you know, partial speed. Um, so uh, I literally learned this in a day. It didn't even take me a full day. I think maybe 15, 20 minutes of doing it, and then I had it. Um, and, the, you know, and it felt comfortable. I trained the muscle memory. Now, the key is you, after you do that, it's not like, oh, okay, hey, I learned it in 15 minutes. Now I'm done. No, you've got to practice it every day, okay? You got to, it's got to sink in. Um, but you can see that there's uh, all the structure is, is there. It's providing all the coverage that you need. Um, it's actually just, I mean, it's a great way to push, and I use that one quite frequently. Um, then another one that you want to try, and this will be the last one for this video, is uh, the ramp roof. Um, this is good for if you're pushing an enemy that is above you. Um, you you want to be able to protect yourself while still ascending and not 
having to slow down. So uh, a lot of pro players are using this uh, right now, and this is more of an advanced method, um, an advanced technique, but um, it, it doesn't take a long time to learn. I learned it um, just like I did with the, uh, the previous the ramp wall floor, um, and it took me about 15, 20 minutes. I just practiced, and then I just keep doing it each day. And um, this is good, so if an enemy is shooting above you, you build that, then you edit through. Um, the best way to do this is as you're running, you want to go two to three ramps before you place the roof. As soon as your ramp places, then you want to place the roof piece, so that way it uh, you've got time to edit and confirm the edit while still moving forward without falling and you'll see in the video here that's what I do is I build it and then I, I go through there's a couple times where my character kinda comes real close to the wall and trips a little bit but I'm still able to maintain the push and keep going up so um, this is very beneficial this is very helpful if someone has high ground above you if they're up on top of a mountain and you're pushing up to them and you're trying to get up there um, you know let's say the storms uh, right on either side of you and at your back and you you the only uh, direction you have to go is up so this is uh, very beneficial for that so hopefully you enjoyed the video if you would smack a like on the video if this helped you at all drop some comments down below let me know if there's something else you would like to see um, please like and subscribe to my uh, like the video subscribe to my channel with notifications on uh, I definitely appreciate all the support I'm on my way to a hundred uh, subscribers so please help me get there by subscribing and turning on the notifications leave a comment down below and once I hit 100 subscribers I am I'm doing a $20 code giveaway for whatever console you play on or PC. So uh, we'll be giving that to one random person. So thank you so much. Hope this video helped you and I'll catch you in the next one.